Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be doing a video talking about, uh, well, we're going to be doing another episode of Things I Want to See in The Simpsons Tapped Out. So this series was put on pause while I was doing work and stuff, and I had a lot of other stuff that you guys probably know about if you've watched my videos. Uh, I've kind of taken a break a little bit. I mean, I've been doing videos in between, but I've taken a break with this series and my Walking Dead series and stuff like that, so I uh, do want to apologise for that, so uh, I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things. Um, in terms of like what days this will be uploaded, I mean, this is it's, today's a Tuesday, so I guess we'll make it Tuesdays, um, and I'll try and stick with that, but uh, it will either be Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, I'll try not to make it any later than that, so we'll keep it on one of those days anyway. So, today, just because I've been off for a while, I'm doing a special one, I'm making this one a whole lot longer, so uh, I'm doing two lots of my ideas, and I'm also going four lots of your guys' ideas, so let's go. Uh, oh, I forgot to animate that. Okay, so let's go with this idea first. So my first idea is a costume collection. So what I mean by this is, you know how we have a character collection in Tapped Out? I kind of... What annoys me about the character collection, and I've talked about this before, is it's a mess. It's a real massive mess. It's filled with costumes, but not all the costumes are in the character collection. There's some characters that aren't in the character collection, and I just think it's a massive mess and they really need to sort it out. So what I propose is they have two collections, a character collection and a costume collection. So in the costume collection, it will basically have uh, all the characters. So it'll have Homer, and you click Homer, and then it shows you all the Homer's costumes and which ones you have and which ones you don't have. It'll have Marge, you click Marge, it will show you all the costumes you have for her and all the ones you don't and so on and so forth like that's how it will be laid out so and then they can sort out the character collection as well and, and you know put the characters that aren't there and take the costumes out and put the costumes in this so that's my proposal for a costume collection i think it would work way better and they could easily sort out the character and costume um problem that they've got with the character collection uh, the second thing is you've already saw is a character. This is Martha Prince. This is Martin's mother um, Really really cool character. We'll talk about her husband a little bit later because that's one of your guys ideas um, Speaking of that the Prince house is my building for this one Somebody else also suggested this and I will show their comment in the uh, thing But I, I kind of wanted to talk about it myself because I kind of wanted to tie it in to Martha and Mar uh, and his father as well. So this is Martin Prince's house. Um, so here's, we've only ever seen the back of it. That's the really the weird thing about it. We've only ever seen the back of the house. We've never seen the front. So it would be one that the tapped out designers would have to design. But I'm, I doubt it looks that different to what it looks from behind. Um, and they could probably throw in some of these cool like uh, like party things that we saw in his house but um yeah that that's martin's house um and then the uh, costume again i'm going for a martin theme so the one thing is lizzie borton martin which is basically uh, a famous axe murdering woman so basically this is a, a costume for martin just dressed like a girl with an axe uh, a thing i have against martin is a lot of his costumes are really really lame i think he's got the lamest costumes out of all the tap top characters um and i think this one would be an okay costume they could do something interesting with this uh yes it was uh, only seen briefly in the episode but i definitely think they could make something interesting and it would be a perfect uh, addition for the treehouse of horror update so yes uh, my idea is part two, so I've got more. So the characters for this are the weasels. So the weasels are really cool as well. So these are the two little like younger guys that hang, hang, hang out with Nelson. They haven't really been seen as of late in the newer seasons, but they were quite prominent in the earlier ones. They're basically Nelson's assistants. So we've got the yellow weasel and the black weasel. That's how they're referred to on the wiki. But honestly, they could just call them weasel one, weasel two, or they could just maybe make them a combined character and just the weasels. Uh, I, I'd be fine with these. Either. They can combine them if they want. I'm, I wouldn't really be too bothered, but uh, it would be kind of cool if they were separate because they are in their own way separate. But it might be hard to come up with tasks, so it might be best to put them together. Uh, but that's my character part two. Uh, my building is better than TV.com. So this is a this is the building where the Angry Dad cartoon got first created in that episode that was quite a while ago. So it's like a internet they make internet web series, I guess. Uh, it's a building I kind of want to see in the game quite for a while. I definitely think they could make some um, interesting things with this, uh, do some uh, an interesting storyline. Uh, they could probably maybe tie this in with the Angry Dad storyline if they ever wanted to do a um, 
I reckon an event on that, which is actually something I'm planning on doing an event idea on, is the Angry Dad episode, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and my costume is uh, for a newer character that we've only just got, and that, of course, is Itchy. And uh, I'm proposing a costume for Itchy, which is old Itchy, or if you want to call it 1920s Itchy, or original Itchy, whatever, you can call it whatever. Um, basically, this is like a black and white version of Itchy, and it would just be black and white and tapped out walking around. And um, they could probably have the steamboat as well, and they could do some things with that, some cool little costume uh, animations with that, some maybe like him and Scratchy going at it, getting murdered or something, I don't know. They could do some stuff with it. I definitely think that would be a really cool costume, an interesting costume to give to Itchy. Uh, and pretty unique as well. <clears throat> and then my uh, other thing that is in this is actually a, an idea. And again, this is basically another idea that I have. So this is kind of like a part three, if you want, to Destination Springfield. Because we have Springfield Jobs, which, uh, although is isn't Destination Springfield Part 2, it basically is. <laughs> like, it's not technically, but it, it basically is uh, Destination Springfield Part 2 with some of the cool things uh, mixed in there. Um, so I kind of... I'm suggesting an around the uh, around the states event. So instead of going around the world, we're just going going to go to different states. So it could obviously have some stuff from New York, some stuff from you know stuff from all around America. Basically, uh, there's 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 they've been to many different states. So I reckon they could do something pretty interesting. And of course, you could probably include Capital City in there as well. Have some Capital City buildings. Have some um, New York buildings. Have some. Uh, like Miami buildings and stuff like that. I think they went to Texas once as well. Uh, Alaska, of course. They can add some stuff from Alaska from a movie that they still haven't added. I think there's a few things like the their house in Alaska. They could add that. The house that they have in the movie. So there's quite a few things that they can add from this. And I think it would make a cool little part three to Destination Springfield. But also have its own uniqueness to it the fact that it's only uh, american buildings you know like well you know what i mean like a american um american buildings other than springfield is what i meant to say but yeah uh, and then we're coming to your guys so first of all we had red shack 32 and isabella isabella roberts so uh, red shack 32 says Animation, Barton Millhouse, Super Squishy, All Syrup, and Isabel Roberts says, one first person feature, just imagine walking around in your Springfield in first person. So first we'll talk about the first one. So this is an animation for, with an animation, which is pretty cool, I'm glad somebody suggested an animation, because it's something unique, something that a lot of people don't really talk about, and I don't really talk about too often, because some animations can be really awesome. Um, and I think this one would be a really cool animation. I think this is a good, good suggestion, uh, something different. Uh, this would actually be an awesome animation. So basically, in the episode, they take this like all syrup squishy, and it makes them just like sort of hallucinate, like it's some sort of drug, and they kind of have the whole like LSD look to them. Um, <laughs> I think this would be a really cool, uh, diff a really cool animation. If you can see there, I think yeah, it would be a nice addition to the game. How they'd add it though, I'm not sure. It'd be a hard thing to add, a hard thing to work in there. But uh, I do agree, it would be a cool animation to see. And then a POV shot. I'm not really. I'm like it. It, it would be cool, I guess, if you could. But again, I don't know how likely it is that they could do this. It it would be an awesome feature if you could like. POV from Homer or POV from some another town member's perspective and you can see your town but they'd have to reanimate they'd have to animate all this it would make the app a whole lot bigger it, it, it would it's just not plausible unfortunately um I agree it would be cool but again it's just not really plausible um but that's it there the POV idea um, and then we come to Goose, Goose Tom, Goose Tom. So this, this is where I got it from. So I stole his um, Prince House building. I do apologize. But character Martin Prince Senior, costume Bart of Darkness, wheelchair Bart, and bonus thing is the pool mobile. So there's Martin Prince Senior, of course, really cool character. This is Martin's dad. They could definitely do some interesting things with him and Martha. I definitely want to see them in the game because. His parents have appeared quite a few times, and they're not just like one episode characters or anything. Um, I couldn't find the wheelchair bar uh, thing. I could only find this. This is from the episode anyway. So it's just him with a cast on in a wheelchair. So just imagine him like this in a wheelchair, basically. And uh, yeah, that could be actually interesting to have Bart in a wheelchair. That would be a, definitely a different costume. But um, yeah, I couldn't find a picture, and I wasn't prepared to go <laughs> search for the episode because I didn't have it downloaded or anything. So um, whatever. And then the, the Springfield Pool Mobile, I agree, this one is a great idea. This is a really, really cool decoration. I would love to see this in the game. I definitely think it's 
they could do something really cool with this. So, yeah, really good suggestion. I really want to see this in the game. Just a cool decoration that they could add. And then Ezio Kenway says Lionel Hutz, which is uh, straight to the point. Of course, we all want to see Lionel Hutz in the game. Really, really awesome character. Of course, there is the controversy with Phil Hartman. I may do a video uh, on this sometime soon just to address it for people who don't know already. I did a video a few years ago of characters that we'll never see in Tapped Out, which actually ended up being a bit wrong because I put like a bunch that ended up coming in to Tapped Out. So I put, I think I put, um, is it Don King? No, not Don King. That's the guy's based off, isn't it? Um, but whatever. Uh, they, they put in uh, Muhammad Ali's manager. Um, uh, the No, not Muhammad Ali's manager. The character who's meant to parody Muhammad, Muhammad Ali's ma uh, manager. Uh, they added him into the game, and um, uh, I said that he wasn't going to go in the game. Uh, but I do want to do a video talking about this and talking about why Lionel Hutz, Troy McClaw, and Lyle Langley will never be in Tapped Out. Uh, probably won't be in Tapped Out, so I may do a video talking about that. But basically, Phil Hartman uh, was murdered, so they decided not to uh, to retire those characters, and that's probably why we'll never see them in Tapped Out. But anyway, and then we have Colorful Statics. So Colorful Statics says, I also love the giant to... I'd love, I'd also love to the giant lard lad see obviously see the giant lard lad from the Treehouse of Horror episode as a playable character. I have a whole plan for a Halloween event based on that event written up on PowerPoint. There are quite a few buildings, opportunities, and a lot of NPCs. So cool, full static. I would like to see this PowerPoint if you could send me it or share it or something, share it publicly and just make make it so uh, public people can't edit. Because if you want and you actually have made a proper PowerPoint, I can give you full credit and I'll uh, feature it on my uh, feature it as a video on my um, channel because I would like to see this event, the idea that you've done. Um, so yeah, uh, please do comment down below with a link if you if you watch this video, please do that because I really would like to see this PowerPoint if you have made it. I know that this comment's like a month old or like two months old now, so he may he may not you may not still watch my videos. I may just be talking to nothing, but um, if you do watch this video, video colorful static, please do send me a link because I will feature it and I will give you 100% full credit and all that. And if you want, if you really want, you could even maybe. Yeah, you could appear in the video if you want, if we could maybe sort something out. But I really would like to see this event idea that you're coming up with, because I think that would be pretty cool. So, of course, as he said, he talked about the Lard Lad NPC. That was, you know, pretty cool character. Uh, not NPC, sorry, playable character. The big Lard Lad is a playable character. And I think this could definitely work. They might have to rescale it just because he's pretty big compared to Homer. But, yeah, it would be... Uh, pretty awesome character and then of course he talked about the event on powerpoint that he's got uh so yeah there is actually a lot of buildings and stuff that they could definitely do just from this screenshot alone you can see there's quite there's at least three buildings there that they could add uh and um yeah i definitely think this would make a pretty awesome event so thanks for that comment um so yeah we'll be doing episode eight later on but that's it for episode seven it was an extended episode just because of the long wait next episode will be as normal so it will be just two I one of my ideas one like one of these like collections of ideas it's like just this page and then two of your guys ideas so like literally this and like this that will that will be the episode eight it will just be uh short like the other episodes um but yeah please do comment i need some more comments because i am running low on comments um it, I've got quite a few from videos that I've got like your guys's comments from uh, older videos So if you have commented before don't worry. I've got them all still stored I'm pretty sure there might be one or two comments that I haven't got so just wait a few episodes And if your comment doesn't appear tell me that you commented and you haven't seen it yet Make it like apparent so I'll push your comment up so you'll be in like one of the later episodes uh, I've got like most of your comments though I, I there might have been one or two people I missed but to be honest for the most part I think I've got everyone's comments on, on this PowerPoint ready for future episodes but do comment new ideas because this series can't work without your comments so anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next video goodbye